everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about one place in your home you want to add to your spring cleaning checklist. I'm Melissa Kistler and I help busy moms create cleaner, safer, and better homes for the family. Today I am talking about the dryer. Yes, the dryer should be added to your spring cleaning checklist. There are so many things that can happen with the dryer that will be harmful to you and your family. So first up, when using the dryer, not only should you do this during spring cleaning, but every time before you dry clothes, you wanna make sure that lint trap is clean. Mine is a double layered lint trap, so it's, you gotta open it up. I'm gonna pull all that lint out, make sure it's nice and clean, and ready to dry my next load of clothes. The next thing I always do, and I do this about once a month, not just during spring clean, is I wanna make sure this trap in here is nice and clean. So I just take my Enviro wand. Um, anything you can get down in there, they make um, attachments for vacuums, and you just kinda of go down in a couple of times, make sure you pull up any lint. And actually, I did a, got quite a bit at that time. So sometimes that lint does miss the lint trap and goes further down in. That's why you wanna make sure you're getting it cleaned out with your Enviro wand or an attachment for a um, vacuum so you can vacuum it out to make sure that's keeping that nice and clean. Not only does it help prevent fires within your dryer, it also helps to prevent your dryer from working harder than it needs to and um, causing that motor to burn out faster. So keeping that nice and clean. So next up, um, one thing you wanna do when you're using your dryer is those dryer sheets that so many people love to throw in their dryer. Guess what? Those are one of the most toxic products you can be using in your home. They not only have that waxy feel to them and that wax, waxy material will melt down when you your dryer gets hot enough and it get, coats your clothes. But not only does it coat your clothes, it also coats those pipes that are going outside. So those pipes are getting a buildup in there. And over time, as that builds up more and more, it becomes more of a fire hazard. So instead of um, using those dryer sheets, I recommend using um, wool dryer balls. Not only do wool, these are 100% New Zealand wool, um, but Wool dryer balls not only help keep that uh, your dryer pipes cleaner, they also help reduce drying time, so you will actually save money by using dryer balls. Just a cool fact. Um, and you might be thinking though, I love the smell I get on my clothes from using um, dryer sheets, so what <laughs> should I use instead? So I got my dryer ball here. I'm gonna just take some essential oils. This one is a lavender scent. So I'm gonna just put a couple of drops on that. Oh, love the smell of lavender. And you can throw those in your dryer. If you don't like the smell of lavender, you can use any essential oil that has a high um, heat point to it. You don't wanna use ones that have low heat points because um, your dryer does get hot. So just watch out for that. So I can use those. And a great thing also to make sure you're doing, this is the one thing you wanna do during spring cleaning is get those pipes cleaned out from your dryer to the outside. So you get out there, grab something that you can get into those pipes. Um, Enviro One works great. You can get quite a ways in depending on how long your pipes are to pull out some of that gunk and keep your pipes cleaner. So make sure you are getting those things done so that you can keep your home safer for you and your family. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to help you answer those and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos to come. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and have lots of fun with your spring cleaning.